Hey, what's up guys? Long time no see. Today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys. I call it my everyday makeup tutorial. I've been doing this makeup, this hair, this look for the past couple of months and I just wanted to share something with you guys. So if you want to see how I went from this to this, then keep watching. So the first thing I do is I use these hot air roller things. It heats up. The first thing I do while I'm waiting for the hair roller to warm up, I prime my face. I used to think primers were a waste of money. Usually my makeup would be melting off my face, you know, after half of the day or something. But if I put on some primer, it makes it last a lot longer. After I prime my face, I'll go in with foundation. And this thing is good because all I need is just one pump of it and I just dot my face like this I just rub it in and then voila <laughs> so now I'm gonna cover all of the blemishes I really like this because it has very full coverage so I'm gonna put it in a shape like this and then I'll just go in by dotting the pimple scars that I'm not too hot on showing to the world. So now I'm just gonna use the same Real Techniques brush. This brush is super good because it's cheap and it blends all of this concealer pretty well actually. Usually around the time I'm done with my foundation, my hot rollers have already heated up. So I'm gonna put it in my hair. Here I go. Putting a roller into my head. Once it reaches the crown like this, just grab a clip and I'm just gonna do that. After I do the crown, I'll part my hair in two and I'll part my hair in yet another two. We want an even distribution of the hair in every single roller that we use, like so. <laughs> Now that I have my hair rollers on and I'm looking like a grandma, I'm gonna use this this thing by NYX. It's called Pump It Up Lip Plumper. <laughs> These names though. I use this because it moisturizes my lips and it claims to plump it as well. I mean, I really don't mind having my lips plumped. And besides, it gives this tingly feeling while I'm doing my makeup, so it's quite pleasant. So since this is my everyday makeup routine, I really don't want to go too ham. I'm just gonna follow the shape of my brow like this. Usually, I'll make it much darker at the end. Just because, you know, it doesn't look pretty when you have like a harsh line in the front right here. Or I don't know, it, it, it might. It's, it's up to you if you want to do that, but personally, I, I, d I prefer for it to be, you know, sort of like a gradient towards the front. I'm just going to take all the product that I put in the end, get it into my spoolie a little bit, and then just blend it out into the front. And then I just want to perfect the part where it gets lighter just by using soft strokes. Always making sure we're blending out the harsh edges because I just feel it looks better that way. But if I could leave you with any advice, always the gradient, never the line. I've had my fair share of uh, eyebrow transformations and I used to have that line eyebrow and it's just, it's just not pretty. Back in my hometown, they used to call it the ABG eyebrow. And then I remember someone said one time, the thinner the brow, the sluttier the meow. My eyebrows really take the most effort in the morning. Eyebrows is really the most important part of the face, I feel. It's like the frame of your face, and your face is a beautiful painting, so you want to have a good frame for it. Sephora gave me this as a gift, so I'm just trying it out. It, it's really cool. It, it rolls up. I'm just going to take the eyeliner and line it really heavily on the bottom. 
and just on the outside too and I'll just smudge it into a little baby wing and maybe even blend it out a little bit so it looks slightly smoother I'm just gonna go in with a really warm blendy color if you don't know what I mean by blendy color, it's basically any color that's not dark but is neutral. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a fluffy brush, put it in force of nature, and put that force of nature into my eye socket. And then voila! There is dimension in my eyelids now. This is my eyelash profile without mascara. In other words, they are non-existent. The secret is to layer it on like hell. Like layer it and layer it and put on just 20 coats if you need to. See, I have eyelashes now. This dandelion product, every time I open it, I just, uh, it just feels nice to put something that smells this wonderful on my face. This is when I finally wipe off the plumper I put on my lips. What do you guys think? Did it plump my lips? I don't know. I go into NYX Liquid Suede and this is the color Sandstorm. It's kind of like your own lip color but better. I tend to overdraw my upper lip just to give it the illusion that I have really full and voluptuous lips when I actually just really don't. Now is usually the time when I start to remove my hair rollers. So this is my everyday look. I hope that it was entertaining. I hope that you're having a good start of the school year. If you're still in school, that is. And if not, then I hope work is going well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.